right, so this is the first phase of the entire Van Bigel project. I think there's probably gonna be like 10 phases to this thing. And uh, so hello out there. And I have my two boys here that are gonna help with this particular one. I think they'll help all along the way. So this one should be pretty straightforward. Uh, we're doing the floor. And the goal of this is to do sound, sound dampening and uh, insulation. And uh, boys, you have to, so I need you, we're gonna be taking out all these, right? They're all the tie downs and it's what helps obviously keep the floor down along with, I believe that there's some adhesive underneath this and maybe even I've heard of there being Velcro. <laughs> so we'll find out. And then we're gonna end up putting down this stuff it's called Kill Mat. And there's a lot of different brands out there, but this seems to be a pretty popular one. Uh, it's got this adhesive back. So when we put it down, it's better to use gloves. And we will um, we'll cover the whole bottom of the van, right? And then on top of that, or on the back of, of uh, the floor, uh, we'll all, I'm gonna go buy some uh, very thin foam, quarter inch called micro cell foam, anyway, super thin. And those two things together will be what we'll use. And we'll use a spray adhesive. We'll spray the back of the, the engineered floor, right? Stick it to it and just cut, <laughs> cut around any excess and then we'll put it all back on top. That's the, that's the project. Uh, the other comment I'll make, which I've seen other, somebody else say as well, is if you are buying a van new, it really pays to, to actually get the flooring ahead of time is versus not because it's a great flooring to build other things off of. We're going to use this as our base. So after we do all this and build everything up, then the flooring, our final flooring is going to actually be screwed into this thing. So it's useful to have. All right. Um, there are two more boxes in the garage. If you guys want to get them, they're on. All right, so we're in the middle of putting down uh, Kill Mat, which is a noise dampening mat. There are a, a number of different products out there. This just happens to be the one I, I saw kind of comment on the most. And so you have to pick one. Uh, it looked really good. It's quite nice because there's a really uh, tarry, sticky adhesive back, which makes it easy to put on. I mean, all of them have that type of um, backing. In any case, so this, I mentioned some noise dampening. It really is, it basically eats up vibration, if you will. And uh, so we're starting in the back and we moved to about here. And then my boys are now jumping to the front. You can see that in a second, go ahead. Yeah. And, and so that I can work on the wheel wells. And All right, so it's been about three hours since uh, I last kind of made a post, at least for this particular uh, project and uh, with I had two other people my two boys working with me and so we were pretty much non-stop doing it and some sometimes it was clean up and prep for the next piece but we were all working really well together and this is what we have to show for it so it's uh it's pretty awesome it's completely done we have the, the kill mat all complete and installed the uh, next step is I'm gonna go get some foam from Home Depot, some very thin foam, and I'm gonna use that to s and some spray adhesive and put it at the bottom of the floors that came with the van, and then we'll just cut around it. I'll show you that real quick, and then we'll install it back, and we should be done today. Assuming the foam is at Home Depot, they have it in stock, which they should, uh, we'll be we'll be good to go. So it's exciting. All right, so we're gonna now do the last step of the flooring, which is to take the pre-existing flooring, uh, flip it on its upside down, and then on the back end of it, 
we're gonna put uh, another layer. I couldn't find the, I think it's called micro cell uh, foam. Uh, anyway, it's just really super thin foam. So instead I found this acoustic fiber uh, underlayment that goes under wood floors. And I figured this would actually be really good. Uh, it has a, a nice, I mean, there's not much of an R value for any of this stuff, but it has an R value of about 0.6 and it's antimicrobial and um, it's natural fibers and, and things that they put into it. So good for the environment as well, which is kind of an underlying theme of this whole thing. So with this, we'll get going. And I found a little trick on the wheel wells, which is if you, you have to cut a really kind of unique pattern to get it so it doesn't fold on itself and you can get it to kind of lay down flat because you don't want a whole bunch of overlapping pieces. And so once you get it cut out, you can use that as a template because you need it for this side, this corner, right? This corner and this corner. And so if you, if you figure out one, you can literally cut the identical piece with another piece of the, the kill mat and then for the opposite side you flip it over on its back right because it's a mirror image and you can do two more that way so it saves you from having to figure out every single time uh, you know what pattern you need to do so anyways you you peel it put it down well, I'll show you in a second. And then you roll it out with one of these rollers. And one of the things you need to watch out for also when you're doing the flat portion is make sure you uh, look for any screw holes that you need to get back into and then you appropriately cut those holes out. Lucas will show you in a second when the filming goes to the front. And they do say to put this stuff in the sun, but we uh, live in a pretty warm climate, so I didn't didn't actually have a need to do that. go and then it's, it's actually so warm here you just you can barely put pressure on it in the sun because uh, having them warm 
will help them go down, help the adhesive work 